Tribe, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a reading on 2021. So I don't know what to expect from this reading. I don't have a structure. We're gonna go with the flow. We'll see what comes out in each pile. So today I've made it easier for you guys and I am including stones. So pile number one, this is your stone right here. Pile number one. Pile number two, we have a piece of glass from the sea. Pile number three, we have a stone. Here's your citrine. Pile number four, we have another stone. It's a very nice pale green color. So choose your pick. I'm going to include a picture of these stones all together so you can see it a bit from a close-up meditate on it choose your pile and i'm going to see in timestamps Hey pile number one people, whoever has chosen this stone right here, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what comes out for you guys. Mm, which deck do I wanna use? I think that one. So I'm gonna show you cards as we speak, as I pull them. I wanna channel before guys, what is up in 2021? 
I must say, I want to say no more pointing fingers. There is no need to point fingers anymore. There is no need to search for answers outside of you or to question people. You're going to be questioning yourself. See, what's happening here for pile number one in 2021, maybe before you kept looking around or you were, you know, asking asking yourself how you can improve this person or somehow help them out or how um, to improve the relationship between um, I'm seeing a couple of people in your life. And in 2021, you might decide to put certain relationships on hold, I'm seeing. And it's not coming from a bad place. It's coming from a good place because all you care about is what you need, what you want. And whoever is going to be on a similar journey or who will belong on this journey of yours, those people will stay. And I'm seeing three new people, three new connections coming in your life. And each of them have something new to offer. Okay. Pile number one give me the overall energy for 2021 the most important maybe area in your life that wants to be talked about what's going to be important we have the high priestess look at this card by the way this is el goliath tarot um there's a video right below in the description box um which shows every single deck that I use on this channel. So this is very, very interesting. That escalated really quickly. Let's take the Triple Goddess Tarot and let's start clarifying what is up. Um, some of you might decide to work with candles or fire or maybe earthly elements. That'd be great for you, I'm seeing. Maybe you're doing some kind of ritual around New Year's or just after with this maybe full moon even. Some of you have done it. I don't know when I'm going to put out this video, before or after New Year. Let's see. 2021. What is important? Whoever has the, um, whoever has spiritual business, except, expect your abilities. And I'm having a bit of a pressure in my head here by the back of my head. Um, it seems like you'll be able to see everything that's happening around you really, really clearly. So your, your senses and your abilities will be very in tune. So start tracking your intu intuitive hints, as I like to call them. Start noticing when you're being told what and what you feel about situation, what you feel about certain people, because what you're seeing next year, you're seeing a lot of things that might have been hidden for you for some time and everything comes to such time of clarity. But you guys, you're all about intuition and esoteric in 2021, healings. And you will want to completely dwell into this work of um giving and receiving so this is very connected to your spiritual business whoever doesn't have one yet and who's thinking about that this is your pile because what you're doing here you're sharing the abilities that you have with other people and those people will want to give back there is that sense of appreciation there's one more story here Yeah, look, you're sharing your knowledge, you're sharing your wisdom with other people, those who might be younger, those who are not as experienced in certain fields. Even if this is not an in, in kind of esoteric work or spiritual work that you're doing, this is saying whatever you're sharing with the world is going to be really precious and important. You're going to be using your throat chakra a lot. You're going to be using your experiences. You might be sharing your experiences, what you've been through, how you came out of it on the other side. And you'll want to somehow connect to the groups of people who, see, they're going to be pulled towards you um, organically. 
So that's why I kept seeing people, right? New people coming into your life. And there's gonna be a lot of them, but three of them I'm picking up, two or three guys. It's gonna be different for all of you. There are gonna be people who will stick for a really long time. These are the people that you will want to share with and this is gonna be a really valuable time for you. Why I'm saying valuable because I'm seeing a lot of interesting information being shared and you uplift one another, you know? Whatever I don't have, this other person has and we change and exchange those energies and thoughts and ideas. You really protected in 2021, I want you to know that. And a lot of birds that started flying around my window right now. Um, you're really protected in 2021, so just keep that in mind. Whatever it is that you want to do, what you want to share, and maybe sometimes you think, oh, you know, maybe I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone uh, by um, maybe talking about sensitive subject or something that is considered sensitive. But if you're coming from your heart, I'd say this would be a really great topic or idea to talk about. So almost like you doing things that maybe other people haven't done or something that is um, very authentic and it almost like it shows your true self. It shows your true self. You're not hiding anymore. You are very in tune. You becoming shamans, witches, healers, people who are needed on this planet. And you embracing this side of yours in 2021, which I love, love seeing here. Bang, look, nine of pentacles here. Um, this is in the works, I'm seeing, I'm hearing for some of you. For some of you, you've started already, right? For some of you, you, you get in there, you get in there. And look how similar these two women look like. Doesn't matter if you are male watching this, but I'm just showing you synchrony, synchronicity. They both have their hair up, their hair color is very similar. It seems like this is the same person. First off, I'm sharing my experiences and speaking my truth. And secondly, that's something that is helping me in my financial journey. So we like that. This is good energy, pile number one. You're very proud, especially at the, towards the end of the year, how you overcame everything. You're really proud. See, what I'm picking up here, there's going to be a time where you'll stop and think. Is this my time to give to someone or help them out? Or this is one of those patterns that I might have been in before, meaning wanting to help someone who needs to help themselves first and you kept doing that maybe for some time and it didn't work out and then you got uh, disappointed and you're like, meh, you know? But in 2021, there is going to be a moment where you'll realize that that giving that you have, empathy that you have for other people can be used somehow in your own either career in your own work and you receiving the same energy back so it's not about only giving and um, having nothing left you're very calculated and you're listening to your gut which person feels like the person i can teach i can give i can share with um, and you're tracking when it feels like you already step in, stepping into a pattern of some sorts where this is not helping you and the other person because this given comes from needing something from that person too, right? So when, when we give, 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 it means that there is something that is lacking in us and that's why we kind of tend to um, act that way. So you recognize then that you do have this ability and you do have this pure heart, but you use using it in a niche, in a field where it's meant to be. Does it make sense? I hope I'm making sense here. Okay, what to watch out for? What to watch out for 2021? What not to pay attention to much? Um, what to watch out for? We have justice. I'm, see, I'm hearing don't see things only in black and white terms. Gray space is good. That's when you can see everything from 360. If there are going to be any documents to be signed or anything that needs to go out, uh, stamped, if you're dealing with institutions, this is saying pay attention to um, the small font, kind of sign things uh, prior maybe, so you, there is no delays. And basically just keep an eye on your formalities overall, okay? What to watch out for. 
Yeah, and a lot of blue color is coming through here. For me, the way I'm seeing this, again, listen to your moon, listen to your intuition. See what feels right to you because your intuition will speak to you on another level. And maybe around this time is when you're realizing that your intuition was correct throughout time and you're deciding to trust it a bit more. You're like, listen, I got that third eye activated ages ago, you know, and uh, why don't I use it as my own weapon in a way, as, as something that I can help myself with. And there's going to be some kind of formality I'm seeing. Maybe some of you are deciding to go through divorce. And this is not for everyone. This is for someone who already probably has subconsciously decided that. And this, this has been lingering on their mind for a while. It's better to be out than to keep being stuck in this energy where I feel alone. So you're going to pay attention to, um, again, it's coming back to connections here. Who makes me feel like I am alone? Right? So you're deciding it's better for me maybe to walk my own walk instead of walking it with someone who still makes me feel alone. And you're deciding not to have that anymore. So your values and the choices that you're making when it comes to people, I'm almost like hearing I'm upgrading um, my value as a person and hence that's why you're gonna be attracting completely new people here and it doesn't mean that your values were you know too low or you're let's say you are looking into people who are not worthy we always choose people at a cer certain time who whom we need to be around and you know who has something to teach us or who has certain energy that we needed at that time so i really don't like when people uh, start trashing exes uh, because or you know ex-friends and something has happened and and these people are hurt now because at that time that's exactly what you needed right and you're learning from it so almost like uh, why i want to talk about this uh, you um you're releasing any grudges uh, i'm hearing here and you're approaching your connections in a different way but you're very business focused in 2021 you're very business focused you're very happy where what kind of idea you have you're walking steadily but don't expect um you know everything to be brought on your table i'm hearing you are doing the work and by doing the work you're gonna create those miracles damn you're really visible in public eye too here guys look how many people want your energy see look how many people are around this queen and this queen is like I don't even know, look, I've built this for myself, I've been working on it, I've been learning, you're gonna be learning something as well, guys, I'm seeing here, would it be a sem seminar, would it be uni, would it be, I don't, I don't know, some kind of session that you're going through, and you have that now, you're like, look, I've grown so much, and she's not looking at any of those people, she's taking time to pat herself on the back and she feels prideful. She feels proud. She's like, these people are here for me. These people are here for me because I've given them something before. That's when they were younger. Would it be intellectually? Would it be experience wise, right? I'm not talking about age. And that's when these are the same people, but they grown up now. And uh, we made connections. And now it seems like you, you've done this in 2021. You have given a lot of info, you've shared with people, and it's like you keep looking forward, what else is it that you can grasp on? What is the next thing that you wanna work on? So there might be a shift in your career or your projects, the way that you approach them. You might kinda uh, change maybe the way you work. You might come up with a new structure or completely add, I'm hearing, add on some kind of talent or interest. And that's very interesting. We have the Five of Pentacles, let's clarify. It's like you're leaving certain, again, you're leaving certain people behind. There's gonna be a time where you will want to be on your own. Because see, there's so many people who value you and in a good way, right? But at the same time, you will be withdrawing and you will be like, listen, I gotta be on my own, refill myself, recharge that battery, right? Press restart. 
um, and then I can come back to the world again. That's what kind of energy I'm picking up with the Five of Pentacles, you know? Um, I need peace. Uh, there's been too many people, there's been too much noise, and this is normal when we have big, big crowds of people or we have um, a lot of dealings when it comes to others, you know, and other people's problems, and especially if you're in this field. So you kind of retract and you're like, listen, I gotta be on my own for now and I'll come back in a minute. But let's clarify the Five of Pentacles here. Five, another five, Five of Cups here. It seems like there is going to be a time in 2021 when things will be a bit overwhelming, I must tell you. And you'll take time for, for yourself. Because um, <laughs> it's almost like someone who has this big following. A lot of people uh, put them on a pedestal, meaning you. And it becomes suddenly very overwhelming. And it's not as fulfilling anymore. So you'll probably want to take one step back and see how you want to go from there. Okay, let's see what else. Pile number one. Pile number one. Yeah, and we have a chariot. Um, yeah, and that's when you start moving. So look at this energy here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Empress. Uh, even look at this bunny over here right next to the Empress on the bottom. It's being very patient. Um, it's not hopping around. It's waiting for the Empress to get up and move right? So again, you are taking some time to appreciate yourself and your achievements. And I'm hearing the past three years achievements. So um, almost like there's going to be time of reflection. Now look how these cards came out. The five of pentacles, the five of cups, and then bang the chariot. So there is that moment of, listen, um, I gotta fill my own self first, taking a stop in that journey, right? I need to take that stop drink some water, right? Have a good meal so I can start moving again towards where I want to be. And that sun and the castle over there. Let's clarify the chariot card. There might be some kind of travel involved or this can be just your own, you know, journey in life. It doesn't have to be physical journey, like travel or some kind of a trip, but it could be for some of you. Where you're going towards to pile number one, we have the fool. See, there's some kind of a new venture. You're wrapping up one good thing, one, some kind of project or idea. This can be even a spiritual improvement I'm hearing. So you, you improved so much spiritually that at one point it might be a bit much. So you gotta come back to the earth, right? You gotta come back to the earth, recharge yourself, have a really good meal and take some time for yourself, do the earthly things. And that's when you can start moving forward again. And that's when you're gonna start a new venture of some sorts again. So I'm picking up two things in 2020. One, where you have one good thing wrapping up. It's gonna feel intense. It's gonna feel a lot because you probably haven't had that as you know as many people looking uh, up to you or so many people coming your way. You know, clientele maybe, customers, uh, patients, and you're gonna be like, listen, I gotta stop right here to take some time to rethink how I wanna move on. Yeah, move on next. And in around the time of feeling a bit drained, that's when you're gonna have a new idea of some sorts and it's gonna be something completely unexpected for you. You don't see it, you don't see what it is, you don't feel what it is just yet. This is in the future, it feels very new. And there is um, that level of surprise, there's that surprise factor here. What you're gonna be chasing is gonna be uh, um, out of comfort, is gonna feel very unusual for you. You would have never thought you would do something like that but it's gonna be exciting. So that's cool, I like that for you. See, let's see what's improving. What's improving in 2021? We're using the Kipper deck. What's improving in 2021? Relationship with a female, if you have any troubles right now, there's gonna be improvements there. For some others of you, you are going to do a lot of self-care and I wouldn't be surprised if you even looked younger on the outside. 
because of how much you've done and how much you've given for yourself. What's improving? We have success in love. So I like that for you. It seems like, there are, I told you, there are a lot of valuable connections coming through. Would it be in romance? Would it be in platonic connections here? That very nice, I'm seeing bonding and coming together energy here. There's a very important decision that you'll be making and that is connected with that, um, with those documents or institution in 2021. And it's in order for you to improve your life. Yeah, because it's been giving you too much stress. Someone or something has been giving you too much stress and you're like, let's sign this off, done, you know? So I hope that this made sense, pile number one, and this was useful. useful. Um, let me pull actually a message for you guys, advice for you right now, whenever you're watching this video from the Animal Tarot. Okay, one card wants to jump out, let's take it. We have Justice again, twice, so pay attention to that. Um, this, uh, this is also talking about the karmic dealings, right? Karma doesn't always have to be bad, whatever, basically... Um, what goes around comes around. So if you were acting a certain way, you're gonna get that tenfold, right? So don't take it as a bad thing only. Sometimes I know people hear about karma and they're like, oh, but that's not always the case. It says fair decisions will be made after all evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of disagreement, right? Scales, scales, scales. So again, as I said before, being in the gray space and not seeing everything only from black and white is a good place to be, to kind of make up your mind, finalize something. So I hope this is helpful and tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, the piece of glass. Let's see what is up with you guys. I'm gonna channel a bit before we get into your cards 2021 is <laughs> i saw a flash of a car so either you're traveling quite a lot or you have a certain destination where you're going towards to maybe some of you are getting a new car you know and that's gonna be really important to you um some of you might maybe get a driving license or something along those lines here but overall i'm seeing a vision of that car standing around standing still around evening time with lights on right about to go somewhere uh, so i don't know what it means to you but it's, it reminds me of some kind of a unexpected evening trip um, maybe um, there's gonna be a lot of spontaneity and I think for some of you that's something that you encourage to do more so instead of a waiting game I don't know why I want to say that instead of a waiting game bring out spontaneity be a bit more spontaneous do things you haven't done before um, and create the life that you want to live because the way that I'm looking at that car, I'm, I'm seeing you alone in the car, but I know you're going to someone or somewhere. Hmm. Let's see what we got. We have death. Some of you, there is something to do with tattoos here. Maybe you're getting a new tattoo or maybe you're deciding to change the way you look like externally. There is that uh, sense of wanting to completely transform yourself to a new self and pay attention to orbs you might start seeing you know maybe even shadows uh, flashes of light pay attention to those as well as butterflies and moths hmm. This is a strong pile. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which in this deck is the Rewarded Frog. So what, what you've been working on, you can reap your rewards. Was it a relationship? What is it? Was, was it your career? A project of some sorts? 
um, or maybe improving your health even for some of you, you'll be able to see that transition to come to fruition. That's what I'm hearing. Transition is coming to fruition. You're wrapping it up. Bang. We have the Empress. Some of you might be pregnant in 2021 or some of you overall just feel really abundant. But it seems like intuitively I'm picking up um, there is some kind of an idea that you're going to give birth to. And it's very precious to you. It's been with you for a while now. And maybe you thought that this is not a good time. Maybe I need to wait a bit more. Um, maybe it felt like time was off with that. And... It seems like in 2021, you'll still be carrying it in your womb. Overall, really fertile pile. Um, so if you don't want to have babies, I'd say you know what you have to do, um, guys and, and girls. But um, I'm seeing, I really want to talk about this, especially this is for one of you, maybe even. Um, and I'm talking to a masculine watching this. It seems like you might have a baby and an expected one but that's gonna turn your life upside down for the better and it's almost like you it can be also for females here too by picking up a very um specific scenario here and that's that's something that you never planned but that's something that is going to almost like transform your whole life for the better um and it's gonna be um almost like i'm hearing heaven sent so Expect the unexpected overall pile number two, okay? So those who don't want children, that's fine. This is not your message. Hmm. This is sweet. This energy is very sweet. Almost like I didn't plan something to happen, but it happened and it doesn't necessarily have to do with a child here. But it happened, and now I'm so happy that it happened the way it happened, you know? Uh, so I think what, you, what you're doing in 2021, you are not multi-managing the universe and your life. You've learned how to flow with life gracefully. You know when to step in, and you know when to kind of let it go a bit, and to stand still for a minute so things can be shown to you. And then once that time comes, then you keep you know walking so i'm seeing a person walking then something happens like a moth flies uh past them they take a minute to realize what it means or what it's trying to say connect maybe to someone or something up there and you're like oh got it okay i can move on again you know so you're paying attention to every every little thing and you're being very conscious about your decisions the choices and your actions The fool is here. So that spontaneity is coming through here. It seems like, I think this is happening around the second half of 2021. You're gonna decide to try something new. Um, you'll want to feel free. So you're gonna do something that's gonna make you feel free. Let's see what it is about. We have the hermit. Maybe some of you are going to explore some kind of spiritual retreat or maybe some kind of a seminar, you're deciding to improve your abilities, or as we like to say, gifts, um, and your talents, but in order to do that, you gotta step into what you haven't, um, where you haven't been, and I'm seeing other people are gonna be there who haven't been in that situation as well, and it makes a really good crowd of people who are in the same place, going through similar things, and they can share and they sharing a lot of info as well as feelings and their experiences in life and it makes them really connected so you're jumping into some kind of spiritual journey here and it feels like an actual actual journey so maybe you're going and visiting some kind of place that you wanted to visit for a while, but it has a very strong spiritual aspect to it. We have the Page of Wands here, and it's called the Moonscaped Messenger in this deck. Look at this. This is very mysterious to me. 
Mm, you're very guided by up here, the source, universe, God, whatever you believe in. I'm hearing I told you so. And there is a very specific situation. You will have told someone something about a personal situation that they should keep an eye on this. It's probably not going to be the best for them. And uh, they don't listen. And then you, after some time, they come to you and they say, listen, you know, I effed up. And you say, I told you so. Listen to your own moon. I told you so. This is a very specific message for some of you. You, I must say, uh, pile number um, two, you might be a little bit grumpy or a little bit like uh, triggered by people who are not taken for their own spiritual growth or self-development. So you might find yourself in difficult situations if you're taking things personally or if you will be wanting to fix people in a way, you'll be like, why can't you fix yourself? You know, why can't you work on yourself more? Why can't you? Mm. And then there will be a time where you'll realize that, you know what? Instead of doing that, that's not something that's helpful for me and for them. I have to take some time on my own and get a fuck out, I'm hearing. And that get a fuck out, it's, um, it's in a good way. It's almost like uh, you will feel that way for a reason because it has to somehow trigger you in order for you to step into something new and go for some kind of exploration, okay? And that's going to help you out tremendously in your spiritual journey. <laughs> Strange messages coming through in pile number. In pile number two, you really free spirited. And it's interesting because now in pile number two, I really want to have a sip of kombucha. So I'm just going to get up and open a bottle of kombucha because it feels like you guys don't mind certain things and you like, let's go with the flow and do whatever the F makes you happy, you know? And you're like, whatever, whatever I want to do, I'll do that. So no one can tell me. Because usually I don't get distracted in reads, but here it feels like I can sit with you here and chat, you know, and have no awkward uh, moments. And you're just going to be like, yeah, we'll do whatever you want kind of situation. We pull justice here too. There is that, you know, wrapping up of karmic cycles or karmic um, connections here. But it's somehow blessed. So this is good karma coming your way because look at this justice card, how peaceful this is. There's some kind of a message coming your way here, guys. Let's see what it is. Oh, this kombucha is strong because of the um, the ginger is literally like times thousand. Okay. What is this justice talking about? Equality, equality, I'm hearing. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is a good karma coming your way, guys. This is good karma. All that you've been seeking for and you wanted good for other people and you came from heart, there will be a time of frustration. I must tell you that because you'll get fed up with certain ways, um, maybe certain things that people see, how they look at the world, how they look at, you know, disasters or some kind of, I don't know, I'm hearing even maybe politics or government and you're going to be like, listen, nah, don't, don't, let's not talk about it. And there's that trigger, you know, and that trigger will be needed to take you places. It's going to take you places. <laughs> But then I'm laughing because you guys are going to be like, I'm tired of this BS, you know? Uh, but this is, this is for, for your own good. This is for your own good. Just watch how you talk around that time when you're pissed off. Watch how you speak to others. Obviously, if the person is an asshole, we're going to tell them they're an asshole, right? So, Because I don't like to promote the um, toxic spirituality here, you know, that we all have to be rainbows and butterflies. Because that's literally how not how life is. There's that, you know, darkness and the light and I believe in both of them. And the balance between the two. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. This is interesting for me, pile number two. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. The patient weaver. Yeah, it's it's like your patience will be tested, but it seems like 
right, right around when your patience is about to run out, watch yourself because you'll answer by your actions, you'll answer a lot of questions about what it is to yourself that you still have to work on, right? So you already done a lot of work and you already realized what triggers you have and why and why certain people trigger your situations, what kind of life you wanna create for yourself. But there is gonna be that little, I'm hearing leftover, that's gonna be quite important for you and it's gonna take you place. It's gonna be like, whoa, light bulb moment. Listen, that's why that was happening, you know? Thank God I realized it now. So there is that time and feeling of appreciation that things have happened the way they have. But it's almost like you, Hmm. <laughs> almost like you wanna hit the wall so maybe some of you you gotta release we need to talk about this you gotta release maybe a lot of your thoughts what you want to talk about what you want to say to other people you gotta release that because when things are building up and when you constantly maybe try to be peaceful and try to be neutral, you know, and, and not express yourself as much and be in that grace pace for too long, right? Which is good. Grace pace is good. This is being balancing everything from, you know, not only black and white terms, but able to be neutral but maybe you've been doing that for too long now and you're gonna be like listen it's not working for me what I'm gonna do from now on I'm gonna be speaking right here right now even if it hurts some people uh, but now you're gonna be choosing it really wisely is the truth I'm gonna tell them gonna help them out or is it gonna hurt, hurt them? So you'll be kind of evaluating people and you'll be looking at them and saying, can I say this to this person? Will, will it help them out? You know, even if that truth hurts, um, will it take this into consideration or will they just get pissed off with me and we're not gonna go anywhere? So that's very interesting. It's quite specific, but it's really interesting. And it seems like, you'll be saying and talking your truth right here right now you won't be holding things for too long you won't be letting things build up you know sometimes when let's take a friendship situation when you have a friend who's been with you for forever you know you grew up together da, 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 and um, some things really annoy you you know they may be sometimes they not considerate enough uh, even if they are a good person and they do everything um, for you and you share and um, but sometimes they don't they just don't get it you know they don't get it when something happens maybe in their life um, I'm trying to think of a situation here that I can base this off so it's easier So say if um, if you're running like three businesses um, and you have a you have a young child, right? And um, there is some kind of a party that you go you have to go to, and there is a group chat, and this other person maybe has only nine to five job, right? And they don't have as many things to do. And they keep asking you to get you know things done for them or can you go there and get that done for that party because I'm running out of time and forgetting to consider that you actually have five times more things going on in your life um, so maybe before you used to shut your mouth but now there will be a time when you're gonna speak here and now saying listen um, it's fine, I can, go, I can go and get this done. I think I might find time, but I think what you're missing out here is that, you know, compassionate side. I need you to think about, you know, how busy I am, what kind of life I've got, and things like that. So, um, I'm seeing the same goes in relationship with your partners. You are gonna speak up straight away what you don't like. Um, even if you went on a date with someone, and you know when people are trying to be overly nice and um, and very uh, polite in the first dates, good impressions, right? If the person will say something that you don't agree with, you're just gonna tell them straight away. So you won't drag 
time you won't wait you know um, until your true self comes out so that you'll avoid situations where you get into a relationship with this person because you didn't show your true authenticity from the get-go and your maybe points of view and you didn't really speak it out loud you almost like you're saving time you're not you gonna see right here and right now who truly suits your vibe and how this person reacts to what it is that you have to say i hope i'm making sense here Hmm. Cheers, guys. Let's see. What's improving in 2021? What's improving? Oof. This is interesting. This is the Seven of Swords in this Algolia tarot. What's improving? Let me clarify. This is so interesting. I love this representation of Seven of Swords. <laughs> you know how I'm picking this up? You take in what's yours and you're like, this is actually mine. Leave it. You know, <laughs> maybe before you gave everything, let's say all, all your food that you had for people who came over knowing that you don't have money. And now you're going to be like, listen, this is your part. This is mine, right? Just leave it there. <laughs> I can't. You guys probably want to see you crack me up. You crack me up. You're like, this is how I survive. Yeah, this is not mine. Maybe this is not my even egg, right? That I'm eating. But this is my nature. That's how I survive. That's how, that's how nature is. And nature is cruel. And life is cruel sometimes, so I have to, cruel, to be cruel sometimes. But don't get me wrong here. I'm talking to people who have been repressing their own needs for so long that now it's going to come out tenfold, right? So that's why I'm saying, I'm, I'm, and I'm laughing with you here, I'm not laughing at you. That's why I'm saying you're going to become uh, a bit cautious and uh, you, you'll give to yourself a bit more. Because before you were like, listen, I have money in my pocket, I have phone, credit cards, take what you want because I'm a good person, right? Nah, this is, um, this is unhealthy, this is toxic. Now you have very clear boundaries and you're going to speak your truth. You're like, listen, that person has issues with five more people and they blaming those five more people. If there is an issue with them um, and there's five more people, it means that that person is doing something wrong, right? There can't be so many people coming after you for nothing. You know what I mean? So you're gonna be like, listen, let me help you out with this. I'm gonna be very truthful here, but if there is more, you know, than one or two people coming at you and you keep blaming them, look at yourself. The fingers are not pointed over there. They should be pointed right here. So that's what kind of personality you're bringing out. And it's not that you are angry about it. You just, this is the truth. All cards on the table. That's it. You know, that's it. I want to help you actually with that because you're not getting it. And maybe when I'll tell you this, this is going to help you out because you've been struggling with this for a while now. <laughs> This is interesting. And this can also be vice versa. So I'm not trying to, you know, say that everyone, everyone else is to be blamed. But being very conscious how you speak and what's going on around you. What you like and what you don't like. You'll see it very clearly. And you know that very clearly. But um, other people will start seeing it much more than before. We have the hangman. There's that spiritual aspect coming through here for me with this hangman. Look at his leg at the top. Again, I'm telling you, going on some kind of a spiritual retreat. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have to be, you know, another country. It can be somewhere close by. Maybe you're visiting a person of some sort who's going to give you answers, but you're very focused on that. You're really focused on that. After that, we have the two of cups. So let's talk about it. Let's get some tea out. Now, those who are in relationship, please try and translate this. 
okay so i don't have to keep switching um, it will mean everything that i'll say if you'll see that certain things are missing in your relationship that's improving okay let's put it that way and for those who are single um let's talk about this let's see who this is let's see who this person is there is a connection that you're making this is going to be right around a time when you'll be deciding to take um some time for yourself can be also in in a trip of some sort or around the moment when you're really still and in your own, you in your own space you're very like zen i'm seeing you being really zen Maybe some of you want to be a yogi, even I'm hearing. Maybe you want to become one of those. Or you want to be very much into Buddhism. You might even buy a book that's going to be almost life-changing. Or you'll be reading one. You're reading one already, I'm feeling, for some of you. Okay, let's look at that person. Who is this person? tell you guys pile number two watch out how much energy other people take from you that's just something that that i want to say yeah we have gloom and doubt some people you'll start noticing you don't have to be bad people some people are naturally vampires energetic vampires and some of others are natural givers so just pay attention after meeting whom you feel drained your body will be telling you what's for you and what's not which kind of connection uh, you might want to keep um, a bit distant so it's not about erasing people from your life uh, and being like nah you know why you give me um, kaka energy i'm not gonna um, see you ever again even if they're a good person right this is more so about saying okay let me think about this i might meet this person maybe once a month instead of you know once a week and i'm gonna meet other people who given me um you know energetically more they give me that calm and peacefulness you know after i meet with them it doesn't feel like i've been completely you know drained so that's something okay that i wanted to talk about and pay attention if you are doing that also. You might be unconscious about it. You know, um, a lot of times we talk about other people and what's not for others, but I'm saying sometimes we gotta look at ourselves too. You know, what we are doing. And you're very conscious about it, so I'm not coming at you. This is, uh, this can be for maybe one person watching this. Okay, let's see this person journey yeah you might they really like traveling or you're gonna meet them on some kind of a trip or in on the move somewhere on, on the move it can be you know even going I don't know furniture shopping right it doesn't have to be as extreme for all of you um, this person has a very young soul the very young vibe about them they like taking action they like to be active I'm seeing here regardless of their age okay Let's see who is this. We have the Ace of Cups now. Yeah, we know this is gonna be a new connection. Tell us more. Tell us more, please. Um, it's saying it's not gonna feel like you are entangled, like you are closed in a box, or that this connection doesn't allow you to do certain things. It's gonna feel very freeing. Okay, let's see pile number two we have the high priestess next to it this is hidden from you i must tell you that's how i'm feeling it this is very hidden from you yeah the devil reversed i felt it reversed though this is like if you knew it now if you knew exactly who this was because it's not showing me a lot about this person this will probably ruin the flow of this connection 
Who is this person? Anything you can give us? Anything at all? The hangman? <laughs> it's like, wait, bish, wait, you know? It's like, don't tell them. Um, take a step back from this. But whoever this is, this person tends to see life from a bit of a different angle. Uh, their views might be uh, different from a lot of other people. And I think maybe yours are too. The King of Cups came out here now. Whoever this is, all you need to know is that this person comes from heart and they have a lot of love to give. Uh, but it doesn't feel like they are just gonna throw it out there at the very beginning. This is someone who's quite cautious because either they had a, a messy breakup, a difficult relationship, um, but something that was really um, almost like I want to say traumatic, but around the time when they're approaching your life, they will have healed. So I'd say you know it's not gonna be the same for all of you guys here if you see that this person hasn't healed just yet take a step back because you know you're not going to enjoy it as much as you could if you said listen you know maybe we we should postpone this a little bit um, or being again being truthful and speaking your truth uh, coming from the heart saying you know what I think there are some things that are coming up from the past and this is not going to help us. So maybe uh, even if it's difficult, maybe we should kind of um, wait or feel when the time is right, when the vibe is right, when we both in good places. We have the page of pentacles. This is someone who is very mysterious, I must tell you as well. Quite in tune with their own um, intuition. They're very intuitive, would it be male or female that we're talking about here. And they're seeking for the wife, husband material type of person. They can read through people. So they know, you know, they know. They've learned how to trust their gut feeling. Because before it seems like at one point of their life they didn't. And now they know how to trust their gut feeling. I'm talking for half an hour with pile number two. What is going on? What is going on? Anything else? Card on the floor. Wait. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of water in this person's chart. Um, or water placement will be really important to your relationship here. Either way, this is someone who's quite intuitive, really giving mysterious this this connection is almost like it's it's mysterious you know it's not being shown as clearly and there are always reasons for that sometimes when i do my reads private reads um i'm seeing that i'm being purposely told you know don't share this information I'm, we're not gonna tell you what it is and this happens for the clients um good so if something came up and the information was shared it might somehow affect them and maybe they don't need to know about that right so i i kind of respect that i respect that okay let's see what is the message for you now guys any message for you now watching this it's getting dark while i'm doing this read i think by the time i'll finish it's gonna be dark completely what is the message we have the ten of winter now every time i see this card look at this dog no one is walking this dog this dog is like listen i'm gonna take myself for a walk i don't need no one so this is a card for me not as this is about the endings for sure the endings and um almost like it's saying don't be afraid of an end of a chapter would it be job would it be relationship would it be i don't know it can be different things for all of you so many people are watching but this this card also has a message message to me saying um focus on independence take yourself for that walk right um a bit like that representation of a dog here the message says 
The end of a career path, project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits. So I hope that this was helpful. Pile number two and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pile number three people. So whoever has chosen the citrine, let's see what is up with you guys. I'm gonna channel a bit before we pull your cards. So let's see. Mm -hmm. This is sweet. Um, I keep hearing curiosity and I'm seeing a little child. So what you're trying to do, what you're trying to improve in 2021 is bringing your inner child a bit out. Take them for a walk, take them places they haven't been, you know, or they've been before and they haven't came back for a while, you know. I'm seeing um, you guys might be drawn to visiting certain places you haven't been to for a really long time. For some of you, you might even decide to come back home. For some of you, you are exploring places you wanted to visit for a really long time. So I'm not seeing this as um, being some kind of a... I'm not seeing a, a journey across the globe, you know? What I'm seeing, I'm seeing little things that matter to you the most. And those little things is what got, what's going to bring you... A lot of happiness this comes through as an advice for some of you too saying you know instead of maybe waiting for things to get better or waiting for things to change start changing your life yourself there are so many things that you can do even when we're in lockdown right unless you can't literally leave your house you can get in the car drive to the forest or to a place around your home that you haven't been to for a while you know um, maybe contemplate how far you've come maybe some kind of an idea will pop up um, maybe um, go and visit some kind of a statue um, whatever it is there are so many places still to see we not you know what came through here in my mind now a bit like uh the quote that I put out some time ago on my Insta. See, and the way I'm holding these cards, I'm holding them really tight. So I'd say some of you have to really let go of something that's hurting you because my my thumb is getting a bit like, what you're doing, you know? You gotta let go of something that's um, that's hurting your hands, you know? Like you, you grasping that rope and you're pulling that rope and your hands are turning blue. I'd say um, that's something that has to happen here. But the quote, um, I think Russell Brand talk, yeah, talked about it and he said something, he quoted someone else, I'm sorry, I don't remember who that was. Um, he says, even if you're in the prison right now, you're not in prison, right? You are in a room. You are in the room at this very moment and you're looking around and you're just being in the moment. So it depends how you look at situations, right? Are you imprisoned or are you just right now in your home? For right now, you're just doing things that you're doing right here, right now, right? So that's, I think, what's improving here and where the attention has to be paid. The attention, I can't, it's so complicated to explain for me. The attention has to be focused on, for you guys, pile number three, not like a year, two, five years from now, and it's funny that you're watching this video, right, for 2021, but it's, uh, it's about what can you do right now, right now. And sometimes when even I get fed up being at home because I'm working from home, right, and plus the quarantine, I'm like, but you're doing it for yourself this is your own fault you can go and I don't know visit the school that you want to you know 
uh, your high school. It's been ages. You can just take a walk there and kind of appreciate, you know, how far you've come or appreciate the memories there. Or you can go and visit some kind of a new statue your city has built or go to a forest. No one is, um, no one's in prison ever, ever, even if it's a free relationship that's keeping you like that, we have to allow it to be kept that way, right? And I know it can be really difficult, but that's something that is coming through here. And maybe a lot of you have overcame, overcome that and you are taking responsibility for your own happiness in 2021. Let's see what comes out here. Your guides are giving you tough love. Ancestors or guides, whichever you feel closest to. I love tough love. No, no, not, not everyone does though. I get it. We have the three of wands here. There's a link for the decks down below in my description box. Ooh, okay. We have the nine of cups. Uh, I told you, I told you, you created, you see the three of wands in a regular deck, you'd see someone who's, um, who's looking towards the horizon and they're like, hmm, they contemplate and they look in towards the future and they're like, listen, but the way that I'm seeing and I'm feeling about this three of wands here is like, you're standing at the edge of that cliff, looking towards the horizon, but you're feeling really good where you add that moment because surroundings are beautiful. You know what I mean? So your the way you feel to me in 2021, it's like you have a mind, your vision, your goal really clear, but you're not crazy about it. You're not blaming yourself for not doing enough. You're not feeling bad about it that you don't maybe see um, exactly when it's gonna come to fruition instead you are deciding to become really peaceful with yourself and you're creating something here there is the sense of creativity here and <laughs> look how many fishes in the sea um there are a lot of opportunities i must tell you that you're gonna recognize while standing on the edge of that cliff right with that stick like that you're gonna be like damn look at that port over there I want to visit that port. <gasps> Look, there is a boat party. I can actually rent a boat and have a party, right? So I'm just trying to make you feel a certain way and imagine how it feels like for me here. And you're like, ooh, you know, that was actually very eye-opening, just standing here for a while and realizing there's so much I can do here. So for you, you take in as much as you can from circumstances that you have around you and you will realize that there is so much that you can do with how much you have this reminds me of a pile where you know people start with five um, dollars in their pocket you know and they end up being millionaires i'm exaggerating here but that's something that you have an ability to do but it just depends on how you're gonna um Are you gonna become friends over here with yourself, right? How you'll communicate with yourself. Oof. Let's see. What is that pile number three? What you taking here? What is that wish fulfillment? Your energy is sweet. The Four of Wands here, look at this. The Four of Wands in this deck. You guys, you don't even know. You don't even know. It seems like there is a big celebration coming through here. You're really happy, but you radiate that happiness to everyone else and your surroundings. And therefore, whichever thing, object, job, person has the same vibe, you attract in all of it, a bit like the Nine of Cups here. 
Look how radiant that turtle is. There is light coming from every single part of its body. You, you're changing the way you see the world big time here. There's pile number three, if I had to sum this up, it seems like you haven't been um, so happy for a really long time. You know, it feels that way. It feels like you did. I'm here, you were, but maybe you lost it along the way and you're reclaiming that back. I'm seeing improvements in your domestic environment um, and I'm seeing someone is either getting married or engaged. It can be you, it can be people around you. And it's gonna be great. We have this star card as well, I can't even. But see, in order for the light to come in, the cracks have to be there. See what I'm trying to say here? So whatever the experiences you had, or maybe if you did, if you were really depressed or if you're even still depressed, um, you know, you gotta be cracked open like Rebecca Campbell would say, right? In order to allow the light to come in. So you gotta be at a certain level, at a certain place in your life where then, only then you like, listen, I don't like being here anymore. You know, enough is enough. And you're like, you, you switch it up, you switch it up. Um, you're being guided by spirits really, really strongly here. Listen to them. Listen. We have death. Of course we have death. Big transformational energy is happening here. Something that you wanted for a really long time is coming to fruition. Um, don't worry, it's going to happen, this is saying, okay? Don't worry, it's going to happen. Now we have the Six of Cups, that nostalgia um, that we talked about, you know, feeling nostalgic or visiting places you haven't been to for a while. And it feels very sweet. Maybe a person is coming back into your life whom you haven't uh, seen for a really long time. Some kind of a hobby maybe or a job. Let's see what it is, the one I pulled from the Keeper deck. Let's clarify the Six of Cups here. You're reuniting to some kind of a place or maybe a person. <laughs> I'm telling you someone is getting married here. Maybe you're going to meet a person who's going to just feel really familiar to you. I've met you. I've met you before. I've met you in the past life. You feel familiar to me. Um, and you're going to... It seems like it won't take you long to make up your mind. For some others, maybe some of you have to sleep because I slept and I wanted to yawn here. I'm watching it probably pretty late, aren't you? But for some of you, whoever, if you're married already, your relationship is improving. For others, you either get an engaged or you get in married. I told you that already. Bang. And we have the little child here. Family is really important overall here, guys. Pound number three. Family and things that matter. That's why I think I kept talking about, you know, appreciating your surroundings in the at the very beginning. Because where your focus lies is the people around you, the love that you have for others and love that others have for you. Someone in your family is having a baby or you having a baby yourself. But overall, a really strong family vibe here. And I think some of you have no clue. Some of you are like, I'm not gonna meet anyone, you know, oh, and especially get married in a year. Maybe one or two are gonna get surprised I'm seeing here. By their own actions because <laughs> whoever you meet and this person is really good and again look we have partnership twice here see what i mean so strong connections with people and i told you you're radiating health abundance and happiness of course you're gonna meet the people that um will have the same vibe and that is the people you want to be around 
That is the people you want to be around. Now, we also have work occupation here. We're going to clarify that. What's happening with your work in 2021? What's happening in your work 2021? We have the world, you're traveling with work or um, you visible online by a lot of others. Or some of you wrapping up a cycle of some sorts, maybe a project and you start a new one. So see what suits to you here. We have a no. Reversed makes a yes. So maybe if you came to this reading uh, wanting a yes or no answer, this is yours. Then we have the fool, but it came out reverse too. Um, maybe this is saying something to watch out for when it comes to 2021. Um, be very uh, structured, have good tactics when it comes to your work. So I'd say avoid um, uncalculated moves, acting from emotion, especially if you don't have a lot of savings. So what to watch out for for pile number three, put some money aside and also do not act from spontaneity. Uh, this is not going to be for everyone. Um, whoever already feels like you tend to do that, this is for you. There's going to be a moment where you'll be like, listen, I'm good. You know, I don't need this job or I don't need this, but truly kind of um, see if that's actually true. And if you have a plan B or if you have X amount of money in your wallet. So I'll just say... Make conscious decision when it comes to work, especially if you have your own business here, okay? Um, but I'm sensing, let me see. This is something else. It's like there is a job and there is a hobby, or there is a job and there is a business. Uh, so, let's see. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're really patient when it comes to reaping your rewards here. So the rewards are coming, but maybe there's gonna be that time when you're like, oh, I don't have patience anymore, let me just act on this. Um, it's saying, take an extra day to make a decision. That's something that I'll tell you guys. Let's see, how is it for people who have their own businesses in 2021? We have the Ace of Swords gonna come up with a, some kind of a new idea or a new new addition to your project okay card on the floor bear with me we have the sacred fire the rebirthing bonfire i love this for you yeah this screams a passionate new idea or a thought of some sort almost like someone would go you know what i i've been doing this um, project or I've been working on this project or doing this work for a while now and I haven't changed it up much and it seems like you'll decide to change it up in 2021 for us so yeah look I think some of you are juggling two things at once like I said job and a hobby job and a business hobby and a business and I think for some of you um, so if you'll be deciding, you're like, listen, I feel like I can survive from my job now, from my, sorry, business now, um, or I'm turning my hobby into business. Um, and you, something's gonna happen at work where you'll be like, you know, F you, I don't need you anymore. I've been struggling here for a while. I don't like this job anymore. This is saying, do not rush into things and feel intuitively when the time is truly right because i'm seeing overlapping two things overlapping and you needing to juggle a couple of things at once until the right time comes when you'll be able to release one of them gracefully okay so that's what i'm seeing here and yeah now we have the ten of ten of pentacles 
that's when you reap in your rewards. Feel when the time is right to change things up with work. Overall, this is nice. This is not a straightforward, you know, oh, you're going to be really abundant, you're going to have a lot of money type of, you know, reading. And I, I try not to do readings like that because we have usually those moments. So for you, um, I'm seeing if I had it, if I had to put it into chart, at the beginning of the year, you realize that your happiness is nowhere outside of you, right? And you're like, here, 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 let's create it right here. And there's gonna be that boost of energy and you're gonna be super happy. And then you'll be like, listen, do you wanna improve something? Cause you're gonna be on such a hype, right? You're gonna be attracting so many more people in your life and um, maybe something will be said or um, someone is also going to be very spontaneous around you and you're going to be like listen have that job for you can survive i'm telling you from your own business already you know and you're like i don't know about that and this person is, i'm giving you just an example and this person is like i'm sure and you're like mm, maybe and then someone else you know comes in and they're like maybe you, you can be you know already working from home or you can just quit that nine to five and you're like, I'm not feeling that this is my intu what my intuition is saying. And then next day you come, you go to work, something uh, dramatic happens or something is fucked up and you're like, listen, I don't care about you anymore. I'm quitting. So that exactly right there, um, I'd say, think about it. Um, don't act on emotion. But that's pretty much it. Overall, I'm seeing you being pretty busy in 2021, uh, trying to keep yourself busy. For some of you, this can come for as an advice. Have an addition, additional income if you're struggling with money already, right? So if you feel like, listen, I got nothing and it seems like I'm so busy in 2021, sometimes messages come through as advice. That's something that you can do. Um, in order to achieve the Ten of Pentacles, right? Some some of you, there might be some kind of a heritage um, situation here. Something is being left to you or a sum of money or something monetary com coming your way from maybe your family members or someone, yeah, family members. But overall, this is a good read. I'm seeing some of you are going to attend the wedding. Um, it's gonna be fun, but it seems like there's something will have to be tweaked about that celebration. Again, it's not straightforward for you guys, you know, like, mm, it's gonna be bumpy, but it's gonna be exciting if you make it that way, you know, if you make it that way. What you see now, how you imagine things now, I'm seeing for a lot of you, you'll be surprised how everything will pan out, but this is a, you know, um, this is how life is. This is the change is the only thing that is actually what's the word I'm looking for? That is stable. As always there. Let's see, let's pull a message for you now. Advice for you here. I feel like I need to pull two cards instead of one for pile number three. And I'll read it out for you. Don't be afraid to step into a leadership role for some of you. And others, watch for ego. Watch out for ego. Okay, so we have the King of Spring, which is the King of Wands in a regular deck from the Animal Tarot. It says, now is your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight, as your plans will be successful as long as you stay focused upon the big picture. Now, for some others, we got the ego card right here. It says, you may feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. And I think this is summing everything up very nicely, how we talked about that prison, you know, and the um, quote I told you about and everything like that. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. So I hope that this is helpful. Try it. Thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, tribe. Whoever has chosen pile number four, let's see what is up with you guys. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to channel the four. And we'll see what comes up. Pile number four, you're really interesting. 
there is something really unique about you and I think um, that's gonna show in 2021 you're gonna surprise a couple of people um, what you think of what you talk about what kind of idea you have almost like you've been um, you've been in a shell for a long time and decisions that you're gonna be making in 2021 are going to be surprising for a lot of people <laughs> this is interesting this is interesting like you, you that type of, of people who invent something or who'd make a very um, important life changing decision I'm gonna show you cards in a minute I also want to say for panel number four, pay attention to what you put in your body. You might want to um, live healthier, but this is going to be your own choice. It's going to come at the right time. Number three or number six might be important throughout that time. <laughs> I'll show you what is it. First card we have, by the way, the decks are linked down below. There is a video on all the decks that I use in this channel. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. Now pay attention to the Six of Swords here. This bird is not afraid of what's waiting in front of them. It's like, listen, I gotta take those eggs across the ocean. I'll do it regardless. I know where I'm going. Nothing's gonna stop me. Tornadoes, lightning, I'm moving towards a better place. And I think this is already a refle reflection of choices that you're gonna be making that might seem a bit crazy for other people, but there is a really good quote that suits this story very much. I'm just gonna try to describe this. Sorry guys, we got cut off because of the notification about the corona. I'm literally um, filming this on the New Year's um, day, evening. And um, I think they're just saying no one leaves the house. <laughs> I didn't even read it, but um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So what I'm seeing here, and again, that's unusual. That's something that we didn't have pop up on our phones before, right? In 2020, we didn't, um, in, sorry, before the 2020 started, we didn't expect certain events, um, worldly events, very important events that were happening. And this, for me, is a representation of it. Now, for you, what I wanted to say, um, you know, sometimes we, <laughs> we have people who keep sitting and thinking about the idea that they have and they know this is something unique or this might be something crazy. And the crazy people are the ones that, they, that change the world because they're brave enough to do something that other people told them was crazy. So for pile number four, this is really important. Truly follow what is your vision because once you're gonna get those eggs across that ocean, something beautiful you will see there with the temperance will be opening up again this is water there's a lot of connection with water here you are taking some kind of a mental or physical journey here to another place where you were before no more what you're finding doing that journey over here is peace balance and something spiritual is coming through here too. Are you interested in different, uh, maybe, uh, ways of teaching? Or you're gonna take interest in something new here? But whatever it is, it's gonna almost like open you up, open your abilities up, open your talents up, and you're rediscovering yourself here. Pound number four, what is going on here? Oh, card on the floor, one second. What is going on? We have the Six of Cups. And it says the reuniting water. Again, water, right? Water hole. Look at this card here. 
Um, I do believe that pile number four might uh, take some kind of a journey that's gonna take you to where you belong. Uh, almost like I, I found my home. So you might find your home in a place, in a person for some of you, or you discovering your life path. If you already found your life path, this is gonna be improving. You're going to be discovering something else almost like an addition to it. I hope I'm making sense here. Our birds are really important overall, as well as fish for some of you. Water. Um, something is gonna happen, pile number, um, I wanted to talk about fire and here we go. It says the sacred fire rebirthing bonfire and exactly when I was shuffling I was I was looking at the six of swords at the bottom we have fire over there and that's what I started talking something is gonna happen that's gonna make you um, move that's gonna make you take that leap you're like listen the whole land is on fire right I gotta go I gotta go I know that this is some kind of venture some kind of challenge that's going to take me to a place that I really want to be in. And it's not going to be rainbows and unicorns, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, I keep hearing pattern number four, you are burning away your past. It's almost like someone wants to start a completely new life. A completely new life. The way you used to live your life, no more. Again, another there's a lot of fire here, guys. Something is gonna happen that will ignite that fire and it feels like you'll start feeling the heat and you're gonna be like, listen, this is my sign, I gotta go, I gotta go. Look, we have the tower here. Unexpected event of some sorts. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid of tower, but I don't know why. Uh, it means that people are afraid of changes and change is the only constant thing. Otherwise, we can't grow, we can't improve, right? You know about this, I don't need to tell you. And again, birds, we talked about birds, birds are really important. And they're starting to feel that heat, a bit like this bird over here, and this bird is like, listen, I have a choice. Either I sit there and I complain about the situation, oh my God, my whole nest is on fire, or do I get a fuck out <laughs> and find my peace somewhere else? There is so much peace, there is so much water, there is so much that feeling of home here, right? You're finally finding what it is that feels like home, but this is going to be unexpected and it's going to be triggered by some kind of event. And it has to happen that way. It's happening not to you, but for you. And I think a lot of you are ready. You're like, I'm, I'm looking forward to a change, you know? Give me that. I wanna... Almost like, <laughs> I think you like survival movies, maybe, or reminds me of a naked and afraid, you know, or um, anything to do with survival here. Maybe it gets you excited and you want to be tested. You're like, listen, I wanna test my limits. I wanna test myself. Maybe some of you are going to jump into some kind of career, or maybe some of you will decide to go to military and you're like, let me, let me see, can I do this? Maybe CIA, I don't know, secret service, you know, but you're like, listen, can I do this? Let me test myself. Let me see how I can cope with the situation. But this is a separate story. Choose what sits right with you. What else, pile number four? What is happening? And bang, we have the hero fund, and you're gonna be teaching other people about this. You'll be sharing uh, this information with other people. How you overcame something that hit you out of nowhere, almost like that lightning and how you dealt with it and that knowledge you know the keys you're going to find right that knowledge over there you have all of them with you you like been there done that open this door open that door now i can tell you if you want me to if you come in my way i can teach you how to do the same thing i can teach you how to do the same thing how not to be afraid you are mentors, counselors, you are people who are somehow sharing your um, troubles maybe or what you went through with other people and it's so helpful to the world. Look, look at the energy of this pile. 
the judgment. Again, bears are really, really good swimmers. This one is terrified because it's going through awakening. <laughs> that, that guy doesn't even know what the heck is going on. It's just like, oh my God, the, the, um, the sky is opening up. I'm gonna drown here. When really the sky is opening up for this bear to see exactly why she needs to swim, you know? So <laughs> you, you're all about upgrading, upgrading, upgrading spiritually. As a person, you know, in this in this life, you see things differently. But this is a lot to do with mentoring and teaching. If you're not that mentor and if you don't want to be one, you're finding one. But it seems like a lot of you are going to be mentors here. You're somehow teaching other people how to find those keys, um, how to approach situations gracefully and how not to be afraid. Even if they're afraid, how to make a right move and your cards keep falling on the, on the floor. Let me see. Too many, I'm not gonna pick these and um, show you these cards. I'm not feeling it, but you're like, let's burn away the past. What are you afraid of? So you, maybe you into life coaching too. You have a lot of fire in you that you're gonna decide to share with the world. You're like, listen, let's do this. You have a brilliant idea, let's do this. You can get it done, you know? You're very motivating to other people. Wow. Seven of Pentacles, rewarded frog. Yes, exactly. You're getting rewards for everything that you have gone through. And in 2021, there is one more unexpected event here that will come through, I'm seeing. Mm, it's gonna come out of the blue at the time when you're not gonna be ready, but it, you feel excited about that though. Um, you're not gonna see that as something like, oh my God, you know, um, I didn't see that coming and ruined my plans. You're gonna be like, whoa. Okay, what's gonna come out of this now? For some of you, this can be ad as advice, you know, that's something that you could maybe uh, bring out of yourself more. Instead of sitting in the fear, um, switch that fear to excitement, right? Switch it up to that energy, you know, boost of energy. Let me see what's gonna come out of it. Where are we going? What are we doing, you know? No, not a lot of people are able to do that. Again, look at this. Look at your cards. See the electricity? And again, the bird. This is your, the page of swords. There is some kind of a message coming through here to you. Quickly, um, I'm seeing some kind of a shock factor here, but it doesn't feel like this is a tragedy. It feels like something will hit you that almost like that lightning and it <laughs> reminds me of the uh, Age of Adeline movie where she got um, struck I think by lightning and she had this um, ability where she couldn't age anymore, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain what it feels like here. What kind of message is coming through here? Star seed. Hmm, look at this card. This is something spiritual. Um, I think you might discover something spiritually, some kind of ability. Um, one day you might wake up and you're feeling um, what this, the person, the spirit is telling you. Maybe you were never a medium before. I'm giving, giving you an example. And you're like, this person is talking about Julia, for example. Uh, let me ask Julia if Julia feels, um, knows the person or knew the person that I'm sensing that is talking to me. And then she's like, listen, that was, for example, my grandpa who passed. You're talking to my grandpa. And you're like, whoa, what is this? You know, what is going on? So <laughs> it's really exciting. You get in yourself into something that you never expected we have the King of Pentacles and that's gonna bring you a lot of stability as well as pride. There's a lot of pride here. Maybe some of you working with crystals as we see it on a crown here. Uh, but overall, I'm sensing for some of you too, there might be a masculine, would it be a, a husband? Would it be your father, grandfather who might be influential here? Or maybe for some of you, you meet a person who is very stable, um, has their finances in place, who is responsible and loyal. And somehow maybe they might be impacting your life in that way. Okay, that card's want to come up. Yeah, of course we have the magician here. Look at this. Look at this. 
So you either already shamans, but it feels even stronger than that, I must tell you. It feels like um, you are able to sense energies and you're able to tune in wherever you are, whatever you do, and maybe some of you are deciding to work with um, your ancestors or certain spirits in order to, I wanna say, fight against the um, low vibe ones. That's how intense this feels like to me. Explore, explore your abilities, explore what it is that you're capable of. You're gonna surprise yourself, pile number four in 2021. Keep exploring. I keep hearing, you know, the success is on the other side of fear. The page of cups. Sweet. Sweet. Um, it seems like this is a person I'm seeing. By the way, uh, we had a couple of cards where I picked up sister or brother energy, sibling energy. That might be important here. Are you reuniting with them or are you becoming close? Yeah, you're becoming closer or something very important what will happen with them, yours and their connection. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here too. Some of you are married here watching this. If you're not, you might find your counterpart, your, um, your person I'm seeing here. Look at these two cards, how beautifully drawn they are, right? You very, um, no one can lock, knock you down. That's your energy in 2021. Now remember, this can be as an advice. That's something you should be looking to step into. But overall, no one can knock you down. Regardless of disasters, regardless of what's happening in the world, you're like, listen, I can come out of any situation. Uh, bring it on, bring it on. You have the energy. I'll take every single experience with me. Um, I'm. I have advantage now because I went through this and let me show the world how to deal with it. Those who need that, those who need that. And we have the Sacred Heart, look at this. Let's put it right here in the middle. It seems like you, you're very proud of your connection with someone here. You're very proud, but you're not sharing it too much with the world. You're like, listen, uh, I'm hearing that's maybe what you would say happiness like silence so you're not uh, bragging about things you teaching others how to get there how to get to the place you got into and other people uh, let's say if they're looking for that too would it be in relationship and careers whatever that would be you're like i've been there i've done it um i can help you out you know to understand yourself better or to understand the situation or your own strength so you're very motivating and you're very giving in the best way possible where you don't um, stretch yourself too thin you know your boundaries really well and um, it seems like you're sharing some kind of event that has happened to you um, with others and you're very impactful on a big scale we have the three of swords maybe these are the people that you're going to be dealing with someone who went through heartbreaks then um, i wanted to say depression even or when situations that were really, really hurtful and you're like, listen, look, I fixed it myself. I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So, you know, there was a saying, a healer is not the person who, uh, who heals you, a healer is the person who shows you how to heal yourself. So it seems like this is your energy here. You're very much sure about your um, way of teachings and you very, you know, you know how things work. You know that you cannot, you know, simply fix someone or uh, sort out their life, but you have a power of wisdom. You have a power, you have experience, and you can show them how to kind of go about it in a graceful way and what would be helpful for them. Because see, you sense people's energies and you feel what would be right for them, you know? You feel what's right for them. And what's right for one person might not be right for the other, right? So you do have this ability of, like you scan people. You just do, whoa, right in my face. Ace of Cups. There are a lot of new opportunities here for you. But because you are choosing, 
to explore and you choosing and the lovers is here it's all about great relationships you might discover a new connection i'm telling you here the heart space is really important here we have three cards talking about the heart space look at the bottom over here you are if you were closed off before um, or your heart was broken in a way and you're still trying to heal it over time you you already can't, I'm here and clean the mess so I don't know what it means to you exactly but you already spend time to open your heart again and um, you might be even talking to people you know how to do that how to open up your heart again when you've been through so much um, and to create a beautiful and healthy relationship but overall <laughs> this is a really nice pile this is a really nice pile. It's all unexpected. It's all beautiful. Bang, we have the uh, full right here. You, you decide one day that you're going to live your life as if uh, every single day is your last, right? I'm exaggerating here, <laughs> right? But that's how it feels like. And, and you wake up and you're like, listen, what do I want to do today? I'm going to prioritize. I'll get done what needs to get done, but when I have spare time, I'm gonna do something crazy. That's literally your thinking. You're like, I'm gonna do something crazy. I crave for experiences that I haven't had just yet. And you know why uh, when we are kids, everything feels so, so nice, we're so curious, we're so happy about everything, even you know the new toy that we get or um, some parents takes us by the sea and we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Because um, a lot of those experiences are the first experiences, right? So when we grow up, we've been and done a lot of things already. So once you do put yourself in a situation that's completely new or when you don't expect anything, when booking a trip of some sort and you don't, let's say, um, you don't ask everyone about that place, you don't look at the pictures too much, you do your own research when it comes to maybe safety and all of those things, but you're like, I'm just going into this, I wanna experience it right here, right now. That is your energy in 2021. So, pile number four. What a gang. Let's pull a message for you guys. What is the message for pile number four for them right now? What is the message for pile number whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, 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 okay. One card clip. Let's see that one. It says, we have the Princess of Autumn. It says, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a, mo a more rewarding and uplifting career. Yeah, you all about that. You're like, if my heart's not fulfilled here, you know what we live once life's too short let me see why my heart's gonna be fulfilled that's your energy that's literally your energy so I'm wishing you all the best um, let me know about those ventures because I'm vibing with this pile and I'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now